Let us talk about the extruder modification. You can see here I have stuck some heat sinks on top of the stepper motor. That is because stepper motor was getting really really hot for some goddamn reason. I opened up the base, I calibrated the stepper drivers but still this was getting really hot. The only way for me to cool it was to add this heat sinks and that served me well. But then I also printed this really simple model. I will link the STL file in the description to this model. And inside this you can see you can fit in a 12 volt DC fan. This one just slides in over here. There's ventilation holes on this side. There's even a fan guard on this side. And the temperature has considerably reduced in this. What happens when a stepper motor heats up is it starts skipping steps. The tuck, tuck, tuck sound that you actually hear from the stepper motor. I am very irritated by that sound. That usually happens when the stepper is not able to push the filament. There could be two or three reasons to it. One, obviously the stepper motor is not getting enough current, which I solved by opening the box and adjusting it, but that was not the issue. The second, because the hot end is not hot enough and the speed at which the extruder is extruding the filament is not coming through the hot end. So that could be a second reason. The third one that I read online is mainly because it gets heated up. Initially, I was not able to actually even touch the stepper motor it was that hot but now after adding this fan it's really cool i can touch it it's, there's no problem so here's the knob that was designed by devin it has a small notch here which actually slids over this shaft of the stepper motor i just have to find where's that flat spot is okay i see it over here so i orient the knob and then i can simply push in then now i will be able to easily twist this making the filament just go inside this is really handy and a big shout out to him you can click on the top right corner to like his page or see his channel i want to be able to switch on the fan the extruder motor fan automatically when i switch on the machine initially i used to have a 12 volt adapter connected to the fan so i have to switch on the machine separately and i have to switch on the fan separately which was a headache so what i'm going to do right now is open the base take the wire and connect it directly to the power supply the power supply has enough amps for everything to run so just 12 volt fan is not going to make much of a difference so let's go ahead and do that i'm a bit lazy to actually remove the screws take this off and then remove the panel so i'm just trying to open just this panel move it up and i should be able to access the terminals over here i found a solution to take this entirely out if i am able to take this bigger allen's keys then they should just pop right out so let me do on the side as well so here's the power supply unit and the first three wires you see obviously is going to be the line neutral and earth and then there are these black wires which are common and then there are these red wires which are the positive ends so this is where i have to connect the wire and i have taken this piece of wire let me peel it and screw them into here By the way, I want to take this wire out and I can use one of these ventilation holes itself. I need to thread in through this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cover off, thread in through this hole and then so that I will be able to bring it out. So the wire connections are made and you must have seen that there was three wires instead of just two wires one from the base to the fan and what was the third one well i thought an led addition that's the anecubic sound i thought an led addition would be just perfect because sometimes in the night i can just let the machine work and i will be able to see the print happening and also it's just good for videographing so now when I switch on the machine, automatically the extruder fan will switch on and the LEDs will also light up. That's a simple and easy mod. This is the ultra base. It's a special coating that's applied on top of a glass and it provides really good adhesion when it is hot and when it is cold, you can just pop the piece off. To maintain this, you have to clean it regularly with rubbing alcohol. So I have here a roll of tissue, so I just take this tissue, fold it and here's my alcohol solution. I'm going to like 
draw a few drops on it and then rub it really nice and clean. You could see here it's picked off some dust and that should be enough to keep the bed well maintained. For people in India, now you may ask what is the solution? This is not rubbing alcohol, this is not even isopropyl alcohol, this is not acetone. This is just normal thinner that you can get in any hardware shop. This dries off very fast. It does have a little bit of a different odor. I just filled it in a bottle, but you can get even in 5 liters can. So that is served me really well to maintain the ultra base.